Hey guys, welcome to Nitro RCX. Today we're going to be showing you guys the new Rally Monster truck. If you guys are familiar with our Rally Monster, we have a new version. It's called the Terrain 10. What's different about the Terrain 10 is that it comes with a full-on roll cage and it's got mud flaps. Kind of a scale thing going on here. It's got uh, scale guys sitting inside the roll cage and you have your backup wheel back here and you got mud flaps. It's pretty much the same composite chassis you're going to find. But for those that, of you that are not familiar with the Browning Monster, we're going to go over it real quick. We're going to tell you guys what it comes with, what it is, um, performance, drivetrain, uh, powertrain, suspension, and upgradability. So let's get right to it. This is the Terrain 10 Ready to Run Rally Short Course Truck. It is ready to run, so that means you're going to get an Exceed 2.4 GHz transmitter, that same reliable transmitter you see in all our 2.4 GHz ready to run kits. You get that 2.4 GHz antenna, which means you can run about 50 models at a time. Grippy rubber steering wheel, you have your steering and throttle trims right here, flip over the cover, you got dual rates. That's basically sensitivity adjustments. You can adjust sensitivity, dial it down, turn it up based on how comfortable you're with driving an RC vehicle. Ready to run means you get everything out the box, but you will, however, need four AA batteries on the back of that transmitter. Once you got your four AA batteries, you are ready to rock and roll. So let's move on to the truck. It is a 110 scale short course truck. Looks like a trophy truck, pickup truck type deal. Let's open the cover here. We have them in different color styles. This one's the green one. I do believe we have it in blue and red. The mud flaps are actually attached to the shell, which is pretty cool. So once you remove the shell, mud flaps come with it. That is that beautiful short course terrain 10 body. Set that aside. Now we're taking a close look at the roll cage. The roll cage is completely enclosing the chassis, which means it'll protect it from rolls, hits. Um, it'll actually protect the shock towers a little better, um, especially from large jumps or bonked jumps where you land it right on the roof. It's gonna protect, it's gonna keep your shell in shape when you roll over and it's going to protect the chassis. You have a wheel on the black. It is just kind of a mock wheel. You can get a nice true wheel and have it sit on the back, which will give it a little bit more weight. I would have liked to see a real scale um, usable wheel back here, uh, but Exceed decided to give you kind of a mock-up wheel. Although you can mount a real usable wheel back there. Anyways, pop open the cover. Look at what you get out of this ready to run Terrain 10. Upon opening the cover, you're going to be greeted with easily accessible powertrain. You have your brushed 540 motor with a removable cooling fin on there. If you ever upgrade to a brushless system, you can swap that over. Talking about upgrades, this is a standard 540 motor, so your mounting points are going to be the same if you ever decide to mount a brushless motor in here. It is shaft-driven four-wheel drive. You got an aluminum shaft running down the middle, driving power to the front and rear differentials, delivering that power through Alum or these are steel axles going to the drive shaft cups and giving you four wheel drive. You have oil filled shocks front and rear, those are tunable. Um, you can get different size pistons, you can put different weight oil in there to change the tunability of these shocks. It is a plastic bodied shock, and you have aluminum caps. You're getting a brushed ESC, and this is LiPo compatible with a switch of a couple pins here. You can use a 7.4 volt lithium polymer battery to sell. It is waterproof, so you can run it through puddles. I don't recommend submerging it, but you can run it in the snow, run it when it's raining, run it smash through puddles or wet grass. You're also getting a waterproof receiver and a waterproof steering servo, high torque steering servo. Everything is adjustable. You do have a st steering servo saver here to take hits. If you smack a curve, um, it will save your servo gears, your Steering tie rods, camber tie rods, front and rear are adjustable, so you can change camber angles front and rear. Uh, the differentials are planetary geared. You have metal gears inside that will take the punishment if you do ever decide to upgrade to a brushless system. So moving on to the wheels, you get off-road treaded tires, rubber tires. They're kind of stiff rubber, which would be good in hard pack uh, sand and grass and dirt, gravel. You can also run in carpet on your driveway. You're going to get longer life out of these harder compound tires, especially when you're running on pavement and doing a lot of power slides. You're getting off-road style wheels. These are 12 millimeter hex, which is a standard for 110 scale, so you can swap out for different tires and wheel sizes from many different companies. 
That covers the drivetrain. Let's not, we've mentioned upgradability. Pretty much everything on this truck is upgradable. It's a standard size. You have the standard size steering servo, which means there are a bunch of steering servos you can choose from. High torque, low speed, high speed, low torque, or a combination of both. Um, upgradable brushless motors. You can go for high speed or torque. Again, and upgradable electronic speed controller. So you don't have to necessarily go with the brushless system right off the bat. You can go with the brush system. If you want to go faster, you can upgrade. As mentioned before, this speed controller can take a two cell LiPo battery. So it comes with a 7.2 volt nickel metal hydrate battery. It gives you about 10 to 15 minutes of runtime, 1800 milliamp hour. We did mention this truck is ready to run. So you are going to get a charger with this battery. But if you want more runtime and power, don't look into the brushless system yet you'll get a nice boost in power just by upgrading to a two cell battery. And this ESC is capable of handling that right out the box. That covers the power system. I think that pretty much covers the Legion 10 or Rally Monster truck. Um, if you want more specs and detailed vids, head on over to the website. Stay tuned for us running this truck and show you guys what it's all about. Be sure to check out all the other awesome new trucks and vehicles at nitrorcx.com. Thank you guys. See you later. We'll be